thing in the word it says in first corinthians 6 18 it tells us to flee from sexual immorality flee from sex free flee ourselves from oral sex flee ourselves from the the thought of pleasuring self okay flesh in a in a in that way okay we all grown here and it says all other sins a person commits is outside the body whoever sins sexually why does the bible center on, on sexually you know but whoever sins sexually sins against their own body why it's a reason why things are in the bible it's a reason why things are here you know everybody has a reason to be here everyone has a purpose to be here so this section in the word is was supposed to be here for us but why you know why and i think i'm here today to tell you is because hypothetically speaking if you're in a fist fight with yourself you're literally giving yourself a black eye you're literally hitting yourself in the ribs so hard that your ribs are broken you're literally I don't know everything else um your lips you know you punch yourself in the mouth I mean you literally are fighting yourself when we choose we let me continue to say it's a we thing out here when we choose to give our bodies over to someone else outside of marriage and I'm gonna be real clear with this one y'all is because even though you don't physically see our our, our fighting wounds because no one knows about our wounds better than we do you know we don't see the wounds you know um people don't see the wounds but we do we feel them we feel them we feel when the eye begins to get sight again we feel when our nose begins to get breath through it again we we feel when our our lips are are, are our normal size again we feel when we move around and our rib is back in place emotionally physically whatever it is because these things are coming to beat us up our decisions to have sexual relations with somebody it really damages us rather than them even though it's a decision on them as well and it's the same actions on them but that's them but it's up to you guys and me to have a choice as i said at the beginning me you um and virgins have things in common and that's our choice our choice to remain our choice to abstain and it's a very important fact right here and how you heal or treat your wounds are all in secret until you speak up what does that mean speak up well i said it at the beginning i kind of said you know um when you say hey hey brandon i know you was about to come over tonight but um you know i'm just not feeling it you know i'm just um i'm sick um i'm not feeling good when you begin to get in those motions or hey um my bad babe um i gotta go here and do this for my sister it's not like it's not and of course you're not supposed to be lying but i believe you can go back to god and say lord forgive me for lying but i really need to get from this person i really need to get from this 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 just attraction from them they're bringing me down and you know sometimes you're in relationships people bring you down more than not they bring you up but then the confusion is oh they bring me up they make me do what i'm supposed to do they're really good you know they're very positive they're being their word but at the end of the day past nine o'clock they asking you know what's up babe you know we about to get together and you already know what's up let's not let's not beat around the bush here people like we know how people play to get what they want in this world okay so i never want to make it seem like you know it's not it's easy it's not easy to say no sometimes when you're wrapped in this sexual realm of just pleasure you know what i'm saying and i'm not saying pleasure just in the physical sense i'm saying pleasure as in he buys you clothes she buys you clothes um they come over they fix stuff she cooking stuff there's a lot of awesome stuff that goes on with this this sexual relation that you are tied to so when you even think about de detaching yourself you're like dang but who gonna cook for me dang who gonna pay my bills dang who gonna you'll figure it out we will figure it out and i'm not just saying this to beat anyone down i said at the beginning do not feel discouraged with anything that we're talking about today do not feel defeated because you're not at this point of separation you can be it's your choice it's your choice family okay 
Okay, so speak up against your sexual partners. Okay, so the first things you can do, y'all chime in with me. What's some things that you can do to avoid sexual partners or to detach? My first one said, ignore the texts and calls. Um, you know, just ignore them, you know. Um, pay attention to the red signs. You know, if things, if you're a new dater, if you're looking into being in relationship with somebody, um, oh, I'm sorry, y'all, y'all didn't been talking to me and I, I ain't even see all y'all's comments. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, um, you know, pay attention to the red signs, you know, uh, it could be like this. Um, you know, y'all go on a few dates and then he asks to come over red, red sign, red, red sign. And why is this a red sign? It's because when you become putting people in your home, when you bring people in your sacred place, there begins to get some tainting. You have to set some standards. I see you, Amber. You have to set some standards. Some of y'all, some people may watch this on the broadcast and be like, that's just doing too much. Um, you know, it's just doing too much. I, I, I can handle him on a little Netflix and chill and talk. Okay, okay, that might be you. But what about the seventh time? What about the 10th time he come over? Will it be the same story? Will he get a little, you know, fondly? Will he, will he make his move? Will she make her move? She may come out the bathroom, fellas, and completely nothing. This is the thing that we're going through right now. You have to create boundaries. I see you, T. You have to, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a demand. When you are in singleness, you have to set those boundaries. You know, a lot of my married people on the line, I listen to y'all very well. T, um, um, Amber, Niche, some, all y'all on here. Um, y'all got to have boundaries with y'all's fam, with y'all's friends, um, with people that you used to hang out with. You know, sometimes you got to eliminate, you know, who you hanging out with when you're once in your marriage, because sometimes y'all don't see things the same. Sometimes what they want to expose you to is not what you need to be exposed to being freshly married. You got to focus on your marriage. You got to focus on marriage relationships. Gain you a circle of married people that can ride and travel and all that. It's a possibility, you know? So let me get back to, let me get back. Look, I'm getting off course. Ariana, stop laughing at me because I know you coming for me. Okay, let me get back to my notes. Avoid trap zones if you're not strong. You know, I would say everybody's weak. We're not flesh, y'all. So we get real weak. It's just how many times are we going to take the blow? You know, we may be in the ring fighting real good, but we may get KO'd having him come over here for the 10th time watching Netflix and chill. But Boomerang is on. Who chose Boomerang? Now you gave him the remote. Now you gave her the remote to, to put on your screen. And now you're you're exposed. Here go them eyes to something that can get you razzle dazzled, you know. <laughs> so it's important. It's important to avoid the trap zone. Oh, this is the other one. What if you're in a relationship with them? I just told y'all, you know, honey, babe, I don't, you know, I can't come over right now. And they unannounced, they, they come over unannounced. Boom, boom, boom. Babe, babe, what you doing? Did you see my text? <laughs> Do you, y'all know, y'all know. That area right there, having them come over. And I would say, I, I'm sorry. I just ain't going to answer the door. door. Dog can be wide, like barking and everything. And he know I'm here. My car here. I'm just not opening up that door. And the thing about it is, that's, that's a defense mechanism I got to put in place. And these are things that have to be in place when you first start. Like when you first start to detach yourself from that individual. Okay. It's going to be hard, y'all. Y'all not going to want to see him or her at the door knocking like that. And it's probably really going to be a conversation on a text like, you know, you had me out there. Like, I knew you was in there. You know, you're going to have to suit up and tell him, hey, babe, you know, the real reason. Be honest. That was one thing with my marriage, our married people. You got to be honest. Babe, I ain't let you in. I did not let you in. Because first of all, it was 930. You know what? I already knew what you was on or babe, I already knew what you was on. So, you know, if I just, I'm really just trying not to have that sex, have sex with you. I'm really just not trying to do that. And he might come off. She may come off like, that's not all I want. That's not all I want, babe. But you got to know in your heart what you want. 
Because it's your choice what you going to put up with at the end of the day. And that's the thing about this whole celibacy, celibacy thing. You know, people look at, you know, me sometimes and be like, girl, why? Like, why are you doing that? Why? I'd be like, it's a greater... It's a greater vision that I'm seeing. It's a greater emotional purity that I'm feeling. It's it's a freedom I ain't never felt before. You know, but I can't really explain that too much to people. Okay? I can't too much put it up for exposure because people just are not going to understand. But I hope y'all understand today that it is important for us to abstain. Don't believe the hype. People that can, you know, my brothers and sisters that can just go to Donald and Dale and, you know, I'm praying for them. I'm truly praying for, pray for your friends. Pray for your friends because they may not show their bruises from the fight. But trust me, they got bruises. They are fighting an injury. They are healing from an injury. Pray for your friends. Okay? I want to get real sentimental right there, but you got to pray for your friends. Okay? Um... Oh, my last point on what to look for, you know, how to, you know, get detached, right? Provoking music when he's around, you know, music can be, music is common for everybody, you know, but sometimes they can throw in that, you know, that, that R. Kelly on you be like, whoa, can, can we turn that please? You know, I can't, my, my, no, but my body, like, why is that on? We was just listening to Lecrae or something, or we would, you know, but why? So just ask politely, just avoid the provoking music, you know, um, and you know what music that is for you. I know what it is for me. Okay. Does that mean, oh, does that mean that you can't date? I already answered that. You know, yes, you can date. You just got to know your limits. I see all these red flags up here. Notice the red flags, set your standards. We already answered that question. We're moving on. You know, we're already at 33 in, in this hour. Um, we don't have much more to go, but I want y'all to ask me some questions right now. I'm going to come at y'all in a minute, but I want y'all to ask me some questions or ask the group some questions. <laughs> 